Alright everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the online career mode. Just quickly before we get started, if you missed the last episode, I'll leave a link in the description or you can click the I in the top right hand corner, just if you're interested in watching that first. But if you're here for this one, we'll just get straight stuck into it. Obviously you can see the table here, from where we left off last time, with me sitting in second last, Seth sitting at the top, everyone else in between. We are not looking great at the moment, but we'll get stuck in this episode and crack on with it, and hopefully start crawling up that table. And the last thing, round 3 of the League Cup. This is how it looked. Owen went through against Barnsley, and then Will, the only other person in round 3, ended up going out as well. So Owen is the only one still in it out of all of us. Will he win the actual thing? Guess we'll have to find out later on. And also, to add to that, the Checker Trade Trophy round 2. Everyone in that round went through apart from Callum, who unfortunately lost on penalties. So that is Will, Seth and Welshie, all three, to round 3 of the Checker Trade Trophy. And yeah, here we go. You can see here we're... Pretty much exactly where we were when we left off last episode, starting off with a match against Yeovil, which we are going to be simming to get out of the way straight away. Not the wisest way about doing things, because it's an away match. We can't only play half the matches, and we have Will this month. So, the balance wasn't great, but what can we do? We had the matches on their way here, we've got the, pretty much the same team we were using throughout last episode, only with a Cambodi in. He's pretty much sealed his spot as our number one striker. And so there we go, 1-0 down to Yeovil. And that's how the match goes the whole way through. So we are literally picking up where we left off with another loss. But, no need to worry about that. Some decent results there for us, because the only person who actually won their game was Owen. Everyone else picking up draws or losses, which is helpful in us catching up. But yeah, a quick training session there. You can probably tell I played those ones, because everyone got A's. Still sticking in just the results of those, because it's very repetitive. But I'm sure you don't mind that. Yeah, we're just 7-3 here to our next game, which is obviously going to be live commentary because it's an online game. We're up against Forest Green Rovers, which is Will. So yeah, let's just get into that, and hopefully... Turn our season around. Mike has have different badges. They don't make any sense. No, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you know what pisses me off is their fucking sponsors, Wonky as well. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh, where the fuck is that gun gun? Who the, <laughs> who the fuck are you? <laughs> What's your youth guy called? Yahoo! Oh, I it forgot it. <laughs> Our credit players' names don't transfer over to each other. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 oh, is that good? <laughs> <laughs> my, fuck, my fucking centre back being that. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad <that> bullshit. <laughs> On? No, I just want to snap the gun. God, fuck you! <laughs> oh, <laughs> go off. Oh, oh, fuck. Ah. oh, ask him. Okay, oh, I'm getting that shot then, not. He's good, can Oh, I need an equalizer. Skirt. No. Okay, so that's Yo, our one. No, I can't pull that back now, that right? I can't, I'll swap the year. has probably got like 70. He does. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Did I hit the wall? I don't know. Oh, fucking. This is literally gonna be the last attack. Fucking defense cunts. Ah. Why are you so slow? Oh, yes! fuck off! <laughs> what, ref? Where's the whistle? What the fuck are you calling these cunts? <laughs> I want to go off. <laughs> okay, wait. Bullshit. Fucking Jack wins. Bullshit. <laughs> One all. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, it's not our loss. That's one thing to be happy about. And we'll pick up a point against Will, who has been smashing it at the moment. There were no other online games in that round of matches, though. Seth there picking up his second loss of the season. And yet, now we're up to our next game, which is going to be another Sims match against Crawley Town. And you can see here, we open things up ourselves here with a penalty. A Cambly slotted away. Pick up the yellow card, then Crawley equalise. But Stockton comes on off the bench. He's fighting for a place back and starting level himself there. He wins the match for us in the end. Probably picking up a red card, but it's none of our concern. Dark T bastard. You can see in that round of matches, Owen and Seth play the game. Seth beat Owen 3 2 there, along with Welshie absolutely slapping Morkham. You can see the November calendar there. No online matches for a change, so I can be more free with the picking of matches I actually play. But there is an FA Cup match, so I'm going to have to prioritise that. There's five games to play. And now we're going straight into our next game, which is against Exeter this time. We're going to play this match. I'm just going through and switching my team up a little bit. To make it not the strongest for the Sims, but the strongest that I reckon I'd be able to do better with. 
not really changing the lineup much at all, but I'm just doing a bit of like a custom tactics thing. You see there, Trammer's original ones were a bit dodgy, but so it just we're gonna switch to up the main more basic. We get into the match we go. Takes well for anything really to happen, but in the 35th minute, we're whipping across the big banks. Sergi Canos wins the header, but it's straight keeper. We keep going though. Akamadu plays a little 1 2 with Banks this time and gets it back under his right foot, curves it with a finesse near post, and we take the 1 0 lead. In the second half though, Exeter have an attack going, whipping across, which is shit to say the least. And it pretty much is going out of play, but Grabar comes out, <laughs> swings at it, and near cracked it there, thinking it was going to be a penalty. But no, it's just a school kick, easy as you like. But in the 70th minute, we get another attack on ourselves. Ball finds his way to Branco, couple of me dodgy tackles. The ball ends up at Canos' foot, but it's not a shot from him straight at the keeper. And that is how that match ends. Quickly put the results on screen again. Stefano won one, Will lost, and Callum and Welshie drew a match where they were playing each other. 0-0. Now we're up to our FA Cup match here. We're up against Swindon Town, which is a nice little match to start things off, but they're in League 2 with us. The team I'm using is pretty similar to what I was using. Pushed up in midfield a little bit. And yeah, let's crack on with that. From kickoff, we'll break through with Ryan Williams. Branko finds himself in some space. Take the shot, and it bounces off the bar. How unfortunate is that? Coming up to the 10th minute, we're bombed on the wing here. Managed to find a pass back to Kamadu there, who places that far post beautifully with his left peg. And Swindon whipping across here, which Grabar does quite well to keep away. But in comes the corner. The guy at the front heads it, and it just finds its way to this guy's foot. And it's now 1 all. We're charging down the wing again. This time it's Branko, crosses the ball straight across the ground over the Sergi Canos and we're 2-1 up. Nearly missed that to be fair, but finds the net nonetheless. Once again we're just on the wing, it's cheap I know, but we're, we need goals a lot. And I can't believe isn't the fastest striker in the world, we plant through the middle easily. And then coming towards the end of the game, in the 75th minute, we've brought on Jake Rimmer. And he finds a bit of space here, if you'd even call it that, cracks a weird shot and somehow that finds the back of the net. Yeah, that went in. And yeah, that wraps up the match there, 3-1. We're through to round two of the FA Cup, along with, as you can see, everyone. So that could get interesting further down the line. And um, we're going to keep going. Ryan Williams, unfortunately, picks up an injury there. But it's not a bad one. We're not going to worry too much about that. We've got some depth in midfield, at least, to keep us going for now. As we go into our next game, which is against Crew, It's going to be another sim this time around. Yeah, here we go. Sergio Branco breaks the deadlock early on. We have a goal in the 18th minute. Turn into our probably best player at the moment. Are we a star himself? Another 1-0 win. Shit hoist it, but it's a win. We're not winning by a lot, but we're finally getting some points on the board. In the training session there, we did get three players ranked up. Sergi Canos, Brennan Servinia, and Emmanuel Mont, who's turned into one of our best centre-backs we can possibly have at the moment. He's an absolute machine. And this leads us up to our next game that we're actually going to play, which is against Oldham Athletic. Got the exact same team as last time out. Let's get things going. Again, in this match, the first chance comes in the 35th minute. I rolled the ball out to Sergi Kano, so he hits it on the first time finesse on, on his weak foot and it hits the post. But it falls straight into the path of Brank, who he caresses that beautifully into the net. Sent us 1-0 up. And just before half time, we play the ball from the wing in towards the middle. We get it to the feet of Jake Brimmer, who makes it 2-0 there. A nice little finesse shot. In the second half, Oldham start putting on some pressure. Have a shot there at the near post. Grabar who gets on nicely to save it. And after a chance that fell through in the 90th minute, the final whistle blew. Another nice win. This time it's 2-0. And now you can see here that in that round, Callum was beat by Will, 2-0, which is helping me catch Callum at least. I am catching Welshie too, crawling my way up that table at 15th night. So we're going to try to keep this form going as long as possible before going into our final match here of November, which is not our same game, which is our only option for this one, against Grimsby. Keeping it the same with the same team. In this match, once again, Sergio Branco sends us 1-0 up, followed by a pretty dead period where nothing really happened. And then in the 86th minute, he gets his brace and we win again 2-0 away that time. Very nice indeed. We do however have a bit of bad news here as our right back Jake Caprice has got an injury where he's on for three weeks with a sprained ankle. And if you're following along there you would have noticed that we won every single game that month. Which is a complete different outcome than what we had the rest of the season so far. And yeah there's the results for the Czech Trade Trophy area quarterfinals. Welshie went out in his one. Will went through in his. So that leaves Will as the only person left in Czech Trade as we go into December for our last few games before the transfer window which will be happening in the next episode. You can see the calendar here, one FA Cup round, we've got Plymouth in round 2 which is quite a step up from last time because we're in League 1. We also have to switch things about to get Caprice on the reserves and replaced. We'll have to use Adam Buxton who despite being a half decent defender is slow, very slow. <laughs> it's not going to stop us from trying though, into the match we go. 
and unfortunately in the 20th minute Plymouth opened up a chance to shoot and Grant smacks it into the top corner there. No chance for Grabauer to get his hand on that. Quite unfortunate. Then nothing really else happened that half. In the second half though, we do give away a dodgy free kick. Thankfully it is a free kick because I, I mean, is that really a foil? <laughs> I guess yeah. But if I had been a penalty it would have been absolutely fuming. Because they literally just jumped over the ball. <laughs> the free kick's actually hit quite well. Straight onto someone's head. But Grabauer's there to catch it. Save us in the end. The 80th minute rolls around, it's looking bleak for us. A cross comes in from Plymouth. The header finds the post, thankfully. And in the 90th minute, get a tackle on. Somehow bobbles its way out the can off, so he drills that along the ground to make it one all. And yeah, we drew that match one all, which means we've got another match this month to add to all things, which we're going to defend as well because that takes it up to seven. We're going to round it up to four games to play, so it's not going to be great on my, my players' legs in that round of FA Cup matches, though. Welshie also took it to a replay. Seth went out to Shrewsbury, then Owen Will and Callum all went through in theirs. And yeah, next up we've got a same match against Notts County. I know we're moving through it really quickly, but at the moment there's nothing really else to show because I'm saving most of my money, not really spending it on scouts or anything like that because I want to keep it for the transfer window that's coming up very soon. And also, I don't really have enough to even spend on stuff like that. But in this match, we're up in the 20th minute again. Sergio Canos this time. Then just before half time, Sergio Branco gets another. Zenith's 2 0 up. We're hit with a bit of a bit of a scare there when Jones scores for knots, but Brank goes like, nah, no chance, mate. And we've won another game to add to this streak we've got going. And you can see here there were two online games in that round where Welsh and Owen drew 0 0, and Seth beat Will 4 0, which will do him absolute wonders at the top of the table there because he's cruising at the moment. And also the Czech trade area semi final, which Will played in, we went through on penalties against Bristol Rovers. The Carabao Cup quarter final happened as well. Just I'm not in, and Owen just went and slapped Stoke right in the bum. 7-0. And yeah, now we're up to a replay of our FA Cup match against Plymouth. And you can see there in the inbox, we've got a quite important message. A risk of losing nine players, which is like half the squad. So I'm going to have to go through and try and get their contracts re-signed. Which is also another reason why I'm keeping all my money for now. So we're going through here, getting some of the contracts attempted to be signed. We started off with Adam Buxton, just to give us a bit of depth at the defence. I negotiate a little bit, but I don't really know what to negotiate with because it's all like not that much money in the career mode sense of things. But we do manage to get him to sign. One of the ones we really want to get done is Bont here because he is one of our best players in that absolute defensive rock we've got going. Probably offer him a little bit more than I probably should have, but I want to make sure. But he does accept it in the end. That's all we're going to do for now until we make a little bit of money in the transfer window and hopefully not lose too many players. I've got in there a match here against Plymouth, and straight away we're knocked down 1 0. The cross comes in, the volley hits the post, but the rebound is smacked in easily. And that's honestly how that match was just going this time. At half time, though, we we'll switch around a little bit, bring on Bennett for a bit of pace up top, put it in the 4 1 2 and 2 narrow. And yeah, we still couldn't get any chances opened up. Plymouth are playing around the side here. The win at corner, which after a couple of attempts and just passing around the sides, gets some space opened up. But we do intercept it, get a counter attack on their way. We'll feed it across ourselves. Bakayoko's on the run on the left. I probably shouldn't have taken a shot there. I probably could have tried sweating it in. But it is a corner which will whip in. A camera gets his head to it. And once again it's saved. We'll pass it around again. Try and get space down the side just to cut it back or square it across. But Sergio Canos is taken down. We've got a penalty. A chance to bring it back level. A camera steps up. I aim it out to the right. But it's got too much power on it. It hits the bar. And yeah, that just was our last chance to bring it level. And that's us out of the FA Cup. We do get another 60 grand there. But yeah, in the other replay, which was Welshie, he won his. 2-1 against Charlton, sent him through. And yeah, now we're up to another game. We're just going to be playing, trying to get things back on top. It's against Bury, who are at the moment in this table doing pretty damn well. And I'm also away, so I felt I had to play it to not suffer like a 3-0 loss. Where Barry makes a nice save there from across. For the first big chance in this match. We do manage to slide the ball through in the second half here. To Bennett who just. He's quick. But he's not quick enough to get that. Unfortunately. Then a bit of dodgy defending. That leaves the chance for Barry. The ball comes fizzing across the 6 yard box. But the big man back from injury. Caprice. Just nips it away. No worries whatsoever. But then this happens. Ball comes in. Grabar punches it. I try to hit the ball clear. A big girthy header right there. Shoves it back in. For Dan's just a nod home. So. Yeah. Come towards the end of the match though, we'll run on the wing, cross it in. The header once again, straight to the keeper. And yeah, in the 90th minute, we're down the wing again. I try to cross it on the ground, but for some reason it went out that direction. That rounds off the match. We do lose 1-0. Our win streak in the league is over. <laughs> it was coming to be fair. And at least it's to a team that's actually doing well and not just Port Vale. 
We had no online matches that time around. And Seth surprising to be the only one there other than me to lose their game. And yeah, right now you can see our scout has brought back some New Zealand youth players. Some of them look decent. I tried to sign them. And you can see there, I don't have the money. <laughs> oh lord. So we just have to bin off those youth players for now. We'll try and get a scout system going some other time. We're just rearranging our team again here just to get them sorted for the next game. And here we are. Our Boxing Day match against Morkham, which is a sim as you probably expect because they want the games to play this month already. We'll pick up a point at least. You see, our camera is only out for two weeks, which should be okay. They'll be back in time to play Seth for sure. In that round of matches, Welsh and Will had their second game of the season, which Will picked up two on winning. Now we're going on to our final game of the episode. We're playing Yeovil again, so we're, we're heading off exactly how we started. We've got Stockton playing in, in that number nine role this time. And this one, it's stuck in deadlock. It's seeming like it's going to be a nil-nil draw. And the Zoko scores. So we're ending off exactly how we started off with a 1-0 loss to Yeovil. But yeah, feels wholesome. <laughs> Will and Owen also lost their matches that time around. And Seth drew his, Welsh and Callum, picking up nice big wins. And yeah, you can see here we're up to the 1st of January. And right here is where I'm going to end off this episode. You can see what the table's looking at, where we're currently sitting. I've climbed all the way from 23rd up to 15th. With that record of 8 wins, 8 draws and 9 losses. But we're only 2 points behind Callum, who's up on 12th. Only 5 points behind Welshie, he's up to 7. Then 2 points ahead of that is Owen in 6th. And the top 2 are Will in 2nd, Seth in 1st. And there's an 8 point gap between them. So yeah, Seth is on another level this season so far. We'll see if that changes anyway at all, but he's been top for pretty much at all so far. And yep, that is going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, it'd be massively appreciated if you could drop a like on it. And if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. It really will mean the absolute world to me. Next episode will be the January transfer window. But we're all back on the call again, signing players. And yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.